At Mbagathi Hospital in Nairobi, Stasia Goslow over alleged lack of adequate coronavirus training and little support to protect the families. Our reporter Sada Hassan now joins us live from Mbagathi for an update. Sada, good morning. What is happening there at Mbagathi? Good morning to you, Brenda. We are here at Mbagadi uh, Hospital. Actually, right now we are just outside uh, Kenyatta National Hospital isolation ward. Uh, we called in get in because our cameras are not allowed in. So uh, I have been able to speak to one of the nurses uh, who are uh, staging a ghost law because they have not been given the protective gear. Uh, they're saying that right now they are in a board meeting. They're discussing on the way forward on this issue because as the health workers, they, are, they require a lot of this protection protective gear, especially at this time. So uh, right now, uh, board meeting uh, board meeting is ongoing right now, so we cannot be able to speak to them, but uh, we are following uh, it up, and I will be able to provide more details after the meeting is over. But uh, just, uh, we've been able to look at what are some of the safety measures that the hospital has taken to ensure that the spread of the virus uh, is curbed. And, uh, uh, when we got there, first of all, the first thing that was done to us, we were given sanitizers uh, to rub on our hands, and we were also given uh, masks like this one that you can see. Uh, so it shows that the hospital is trying to actually ensure that uh, measures have been put in place to curb the virus. Uh, but so far, we cannot be able to ascertain on what is the issue uh, that the nurses are facing, but uh, what we've been able to hear from them is that they have not been given protective gears, and they're saying that they require it most because they are in contact with the patients and uh, once we get more information about it we'll be able to share it with you and uh, maybe one of the reasons why uh, Nairobi is a high-risk area it's because of its huge population and it, it requires about 10,000 protective kits so uh, this is why the workers really want these kits to be here because uh, the numbers are rising day in day out of the virus back to you Brenda all right Sada I mean Bagathe hospital plays a crucial role when it comes to quarantine you know the patients who've been suspected of having coronavirus so when workers are talking about not being trained not having you know protective gears it goes against it's, it's contrary to what the government was saying in terms of they've already trained health personnel to to handle you know any cases of coronavirus well brenda yes actually the the ministry yesterday said that uh the number of uh, trained health workers is about 615 and the ministry had issued a directive earlier on that by 15th which was yesterday all the county governments should be ready should have provided uh, protective gears to their workers so this is quite contrary to what the ministry had said but uh, we cannot say uh, so far we cannot ascertain whether uh, the, the counties are really fully prepared for it but we are waiting uh, once this board meeting is over we will be able to provide more information but as, as it is right now, the workers who work at Mbagadi uh, Hospital uh, are saying that they have not been provided with the protective gears, and which is quite essential to their work. And Sada Hassan, you know, when I talk about human traffic in public hospitals like Bagathi Hospital, Kenyatta National Hospital, there's a lot of human traffic, especially this are when people are going to see their patients. So what is the situation like at Mbagathi Hospital? You know, are people walking in or in terms of the numbers? Well, right. Brenda, uh, right now, the number of people walking into the hospital is a little less. As you can see, actually, from this road that is leading to Mbagadi uh, Hospital, there are few people uh, on this road. So it shows a number of people are maybe at home or they're just somewhere, but uh, the few people walking into the hospital right now, uh, maybe you can say it's because uh, of the directive that was issued yesterday by the president. But uh, so far, so good. At the entrance of the hospital, they're giving you a protective, uh, they're giving you a mask like this one and then they're also uh, sanitizing your hands using a hand sanitizer. Thank you so much, Sada Hassan. It's also good to know that you're safe while covering for us, you know, the latest update when it comes to coronavirus, especially at Mbagathi Hospital, playing a critical role when it comes to quarantine of patients suspected to have the virus. Now, the Kenya Progressive Nurses 